It's count midnight. We're here with Jeremy Cowan, who's pouring himself his very own Coney Island craft lager. How are you doing today, Jeremy? Excellent. Happy Freaktoberfest. Yes, it's happy Freaktoberfest indeed. So you have a lot of these Freaktoberfests, don't you? Yeah, we host a big one in Brooklyn uh, in the beginning of October. We've got one in Chicago, San Francisco, LA. So we're having them all over the country. And this is the one in Chicago, right? This is currently, right now. We're in Chicago, more or less. More or less, we're close. We're in Berwyn, so. That's all right. How did you happen to come upon Cigars and Stripes? Uh, well, the maestro, Ronnie, called me up and said, we've got a party to be had. We want to throw all your beers on and uh, have a big festival and invite a bunch of sideshow freaks and beer geeks to come out and taste a bunch of delicious stuff and have a blast and party it up. All right, well, that's us for sure. <laughs> All right, now what can you tell us about your Coney Island Brewery? Uh, well, I started the company 13 years ago. The name of the brewery is Schmaltz Brewing Company. Uh, I live in San Francisco. We brew all the beer in upstate New York. Coney Island Craft Lagers, we started two years ago as a fundraiser for an arts organization called Coney Island USA. That is where Serpentina is the snake dancer with albino python as her inspiration. We've got the MC of the Coney Island Sideshow, Mr. Donnie Vomit, who is the human blockhead. Ah. And then, uh, of course, Heather Holiday. Heather Holiday, aha, right here, all righty. Lovely uh, sword swallower from Coney Island. And then our inspiration for this evening is uh, a beer called Freaktoberfest, which is a, uh, a beautiful amber lager brewed with six malts, six hops. It's 6.66% alcohol, and it is brewed with the uh, blood of 10,000 free-range organic zombies, ah, and it is blood go. red. So okay. that's right. Freaktoberfest. Hey, we got Chris over here going to take our picture. Hey, Chris. <laughs> All righty. And if people want to find out more to you about Coney Island Lager and your brewery and Schmaltz Brewery, do you have a website? Yes, Coney Island Craft Lagers. Just Google it, uh, schmaltzbrewingcompany.com. Everything will get you there. Um, we're on the web. We're also distributed in 25 states now across the United States, a little in Canada and a little bit in the UK. Um, we've got 12 beers for Schmaltz Brewing Company, including all the Coney Island beers, as well as a brand called Hebrew, the chosen beer. And uh, yeah, delicious ales, delicious lagers, and obviously trying to have a ton of fun. Now tell us about your Hebrew brand. Is that a kosher beer? It is. They're all kosher certified. I started uh, Hebrew as the first and only we call it the smallest, the biggest, and the most award-winning Jewish celebration beer in the country. And um, we've got some beautiful beers, some brewed with pomegranates, figs, a rye double IPA, an anniversary beer that just came out for our 13th anniversary called Jubilation Bar Mitzvah. That's a huge, strong brown ale with 13 malls, 13 hops, and it's 13% alcohol. And do you have any of that here? Yeah, we've got a bunch of Hebrew beers to taste this evening. Genesis Ale is our flagship. In between a pale and an amber, Messiah Bold is one of my favorite nut brown ale. Um, so a little bit of everything this evening. Right, well, we're going to wander over back there in a little bit and, and taste some of those beers if we could. Awesome, yeah, that's why we're here. That's so it's here. Okay. an opportunity to taste some delicious stuff with craft beer exploding in this country. I've been doing this for 13 years, and it's by far the best time uh, in my adult life for craft beer in this country. It's very exciting. Why do you suppose that is? Uh, because I think that beers have gotten more and more sophisticated. People's palates have gotten better and better. Uh, they realize that it's small business at its best in this country. These are all breweries that are small, family owned. Uh, they're not huge companies forcing stuff down your throat with advertising. They're selling you a product that's based on the cost to produce it, the ingredients that they use, their imagination, their own creativity. The beers taste absolutely delicious. It's kind of the difference between you know, you start out when you're a little kid eating a very, very basic little hamburger, and as you get more and more sophisticated, you want a big, delicious, unbelievable, high-quality hamburger, the best that you can have. That's what you get in craft beer. It's a very special uh, flavors, very unique ingredients, and ultimately totally delicious. Now, let me ask you this question. How many different breweries do we have here? Tonight, I believe there are 35 breweries. Uh, there are 65 different beers. They're represented by Glunn's Beer Distributing that's here in town in Chicago. They're a 125-year-old beer distributor. They've brought an array from all over the country as well as all over the world. Um, they're my wholesaler here in town. My beers sell here at Cigars and Stripes on draft and in bottles. We sell at places like Binnie's and Whole Foods and small independent shops around the city. And I've been distributing beer here in Chicago for about almost 10 years now. 
And uh, this is some of the best stuff that you can taste from all over the country and all over the world. Great. And so when you go to head and have your different Freaktoberfest around the country, is it besides your brewery then, do you have other independent breweries like tonight? Yes, that is our whole point. As a small craft brewer, we want to include everybody in our project and our community. And the way I look at it is, I love to drink all these special delicious beers. I want other people to experience what's different and interesting. We don't have advertising budgets. We don't put billboards, we don't have bus stops, we don't have TV or radio. We need to hand sell all these products to people so they realize how special they are. So we, we introduce um, all of our friendly breweries as well and all my favorite beers was we go around the country and we love the community, love all their other beers and it's great to be able to share it with people in this kind of environment. Being in the brewing business, do you have a hard time staying sober? <laughs> On occasion. Uh, you know, we're professionals here, sir. Yeah, that's uh, right, we're professionals. Yeah, I think that's part of the fun is, look, craft beer is not necessarily just about drinking pitchers and pitchers and pitchers and doing, you know, beer bongs. I mean, that was fun, and there was a place and a time for all of that. But this is about having something special that's delicious and interesting and it tickles your imagination as well as bringing something really delicious inside of your taste buds. So it's not about quantity, it is about quality, and uh, if you catch a little buzz along the way, all the better. Excellent. Jeremy, anything else you'd like to say on camera? No, this is amazing, man. I mean, so glad that Ronnie from Cigars and Stripes invited me out for this. I flew out from San Francisco just to be here for Freetoberfest, and uh, it's been wonderful to be on your show. It's a real treat. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Freetoberfest, and uh, keep on drinking. Appreciate it. L'chaim. We're going to go sample some beers here in a minute. So, all right, thank you, sir. Thanks so much. I'm Count Midnight, and Count you are? Midnight. I'm Shannon. That's the camera right over there. Shannon, what? We're getting a beer here for Shannon. I love beer. I love beer. I love, yeah. Can you say that to the camera? I love beer. Can you say, I love Coney Island beer? I love Coney Island beer. It's the best beer you've ever had. It is the best beer I have ever had. Great, there you go. Good <laughs> That's good beer. That's yeah. Like. There you go. Should I taste it right Should now? I taste it, yes. It's a taste test. Coney Island beer is the best beer I've ever had. All right, thank you. And now can I bite your neck? <laughs> <No>. <laughs>